David Walper wanted to get into the feature business and um, optioned Roald Dahl's book, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Roald Dahl showed up on the set um, with 14 pages. They had already started filming the musical numbers. Um, and, um, and they didn't, and Dahl showed up with 14 pages and with arrows and numbers, see page 72, my book, <laughs> etc. And when Walper said, this is not a screenplay, he said, well, I'm out of here. You know, do whatever you want to. I'm not writing any more than this. I had been bothering Walper, telling him that after the Hellstrom Chronicle, where I'd actually written dialogue, if you haven't seen that, an actor appears playing a wacky scientist and actually speaks to the camera. It was the first thing I'd ever done that wasn't narration. And um, he called me and explained he would be humiliated and lose all validity in the community because the, his ticket into features was that he had Roald Dahl's mm -hmm. book. And he said, I've lost Roald Dahl. Can you really write a screenplay? <laughs> and I said, yes, sir. And I was, you know, I think 20-some, uh, young 20 in my young 20s. And he said, well, I can't pay you and I can't give you screen credit, but I'll pay your car fare, basically. And if you come out here and you write this for me, I'll, I'll produce your first screenplay, which, which he did. He lived up to it. But I got, out, I got to Germany, and they were, as I say, filming the musical numbers. And there was no, no dialogue getting into them and no dialogue getting out of them. <laughs> and I'd read the book on the plane, and I had to invent, before I even wrote the screenplay, what people said going in and out of the musical numbers. So it was a baptism by fire. It was crazy. I was working on a German typewriter which had all sorts of weird chuz on it and things like that. <laughs>